Good morning, Mrs. Barrett. I'm so glad you agreed to co-teach the senior research paper with me. I'm happy to be involved with you and your students, but I would like to suggest doing a different approach to the research process this year. Mrs. Barrett, I've been doing the research paper the same way for 20 years and I really feel like it is successful. I don't mind if you add some databases to the process, but I'm not sure about anything else new. I would like to show your students an inquiry process that will allow them to use eight building blocks that will build on their information literacy skills. But what about index cards and using five books, five magazines, and five computer sources? Or we still do that? Of course we will still use sources, but we will allow the students to pick their own sources and their own presentation method. Let me guess. You don't want me to require a 15-page paper like I have in the past? That's right. Using the building blocks of research allows students to engage in their own research. This will allow them to be able to browse books and databases as well as form questions to real-life situations. So instead of me giving them one of my topics from my formulated sheet, they will get to form their own questions? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. They will be able to ask questions and activate prior knowledge as well as initiate the attributes of the topic. This sounds really interesting. Would I be able to put the students in groups of four so they can research both the pros and cons of their inquiry questions? That is a great idea. This will allow the groups to locate different types of information such as databases, personal interviews, internet, and books and magazines. See? They can still access all the resources you had in mind. I have been wanting to incorporate more 21st century skills in my teaching. I have just been a little nervous about all the technology. That's where I would love to help out. I have the knowledge and resources for the technology and you have the knowledge of your subject matter. I do want my students to be able to examine the material they find and be able to organize and interpret the facts. Will this be part of the building block process? Yes. It is a big part of the process, and if you have the students divided into groups, they will be able to communicate and synthesize their information among their group and their other classmates. I would like the students to be able to creatively present the evidence from their research and inquiry learning. What are some ways you suggest? I think they could debate the pros and cons of their question or use a web tool for their presentation they can also incorporate music and visuals. This process will give them the freedom to inquire about their interests, but with a structure that encourages steps for information literacy. What would be an example of a question that can have both pros and cons? Well, should the United States go to a career track system like China where students go on a certain path based on their academic scores after 8th grade? The paths would be either higher academics or a skill trade. That is a great question that would encourage inquiry learning. I would also like a rubric or some way of evaluation within the groups in the class. The final step of the building blocks is evaluation. You can use a rubric or questioning as well as a self-checker timeline. You can decide if you want to use one or more methods for evaluation. Mrs. Barrett, I think I am sold on this process. However, I would like to collaborate with you a few more times before we begin this adventure in the library. I think this is the beginning of a great collaboration. 